Hello everyone, welcome sa ating rooftop and ito nga yung mga napabili nating mga newest addition sa ating succulent collection. Unang-una nga is we have this Awayuki na full variegation siya guys. May kita ninyo tiba parang yellowish white or cream yung kanyang color and ang swerte nung pagkakabili natin sa kanya kasi nga it comes with multiple heads. Ayan o, oh, napakadami niyang rosettes and so we can simply separate this one by one in the future. So we have a total of about 12 or 13 rosettes here and what I'm gonna be doing later is syempre ipropagate na natin siya agad agad and siguro dito sa likod ayan may kita nyo naman yung mga stem so we can just simply cut that then immediately plant it sa ating alnos compost and accordingly nga sa shop owner Kaiser Lee Sabi niya na ang purpose daw is to keep yung parang tips niya reddish or pinkish in color. So that's how we can stress itong ating full variegation na awayuki. But dapat daw ilagay natin siya sa bright shaded area kasi it might die or won't survive sa full sun kasi nga full variegation itong succulent na to. The second one would be this war club succulent or tinatawag din siya na coil egg succulent because nga of the shape ng kanyang mga leaves. It's my first time to see this and I find it parang unique among other succulents. And then when I try to ask kung ano ang magiging itsura niya pag na-stress siya, magiging reddish daw siya and so let's see if we can achieve yung parang pagka red niya kasi sa ngayon may kita nyo naman green na green talaga siya kaya I'm so excited na stressin yan the third one would be this mukha siyang clavatum but this one is a combination of clavatum and lawi kaya tinawag siya na chloe well, I don't know if that's the real name or it's just a common name. But nevertheless, ayan yung kanyang itsura. Medyo mafarina siya or mafarina siya because of its parent na lawi. Napakadali rin daw nitong i-propagate. And syempre gustong gusto natin yun. Diba kasi yung mga prices nila are quite ano, pricey or expensive. So let's try yung bottom leaf. And yes, walang kahirap-hirap nga natanggal natin siya. And so, let's see if magiging successful yung ating leaf propagation sa kanya. And if it's a yes, we will be propagating more of this Chloe. Last but not the least na nabili natin is itong ating Linardine na succulent. It's one of my dream succulent ever since. It's just that before yung prices na nakikita ko is about parang 2,000, 1,000, 1,500 pesos. But itong linear din na to, we got it for only 450 pesos. And may, I don't know, siguro parang mahal siyang pakinggan, but it's really worth the price. And mapapansin niyo yung kanyang tips pala, medyo ano siya, parang it's a claw type, then pinkish red yung kanyang color. Ayan, tiba So, if you are into details, may kita nyo yan. Napakagandang tignan. And so far, isa ito sa mga best succulents na I have right now sa ating collection. And lastly, we got a free succulent again. So, this one is a variegated blue rose or the variegated morning beauty. Ito siya. Matagal ko na itong gustong bilhin but I didn't buy it kasi medyo pricey yung kanyang price but I was surprised kasi surely gave us this one even before tayo bumili ng mga succulent sa kanya. Binigay niya na ito as a way of showing gratitude daw. So thank you sa kanya. 
And if you are wondering kung magkano yung nagastos natin, so yung apat na nasa likod, except for the free, that's 1,100 peso. So lahat ng yun, it's 1,100 pesos only. Plus, syempre, we have a uh, free na morning beauty. So parang lahat ng yan is 1,100 pesos. This is probably the best na nabili natin wherein lahat nung plant talagang nagustuhan natin and we were not thinking of the money we spent and syempre since medyo pricey nga sila what I'm gonna be doing is to propagate them as soon as possible kasi syempre I have no first hand experience with these succulents but I think itong awayuki na to madali lang yan kasi stem cutting but for the rest like itong mga Ichiverias na to, I think medyo mahirap silang i-propagate. Pero, we're gonna be doing our best to propagate them. Kasi nga, I will be using them for our future giveaways. I wanted to show you itong ating DIY mini greenhouse that we made. This is where we put all of our propagations. Mapas them cutting man yan. Or mapalif propagation man yan. And so, I wanted to show you some of my recent propagations like for example itong ating raindrops so i think several weeks ago tiba nag succulent shopping tayo then immediately i do propagate them kaya ito na nga yung result tiba talagang pwedeng pwede natin silang ipa give away in the future it's just a matter of time definitely siguro mga three or six months before they can fully mature or become big enough to be shipped or ipa give away nga ayan. So this one is the Pink Floyd and we have more propagations until doon sa likod ibat ibang classing succulents. We have here yung ating amethystinum. And of course, yung ating mga variegated mendoze, nag-start na rin ako mag-propagate sa kanila para sabay-sabay din silang lumaki. Ayan, so what else? We have yung ating succulent arrangement na ginawa noong Valentine's Day. So far, so good naman. Hindi ko pa sila nadidiligan. And let's see how long can they maintain this compact looking na arrangement nila. We have a 6 month update of our Alnos Compost. I will be uploading the video very soon for you to see. And dito nga sa ating pinaka main na plant track, we have yung mga leaf propagations here. I think these are the first batch of leaf propagations we did before and right now talagang malalaki na sila. Pero hindi pa ganun kalaki para maipa give away. So this is yung ating rubidona from leaf din siya. As you can see, very intact pa din yung kanyang mother leaf even if nan malaki na yung kanyang na-produce na offset. We've got our chocolate and strawberry. I think that's the common name. Ayan, and syempre iba't ibang klaseng leaf propagations ang nandito. Kaya hindi hindi tayo maubusan ng succulents. It's just a matter of ano talaga. Kailangan natin maghintay so as I can finally give it to you. Ayan, yung ating ghost plot na napakahirap hanapin. Our compactum and our two-headed lawi. Ayan, tiba So, successful yung ating leaf propagation before. Ayan. So, I think that's all for today guys and again I wanted to say thank you sa lahat ng nagsusupport ng ating vlogs and since hindi na pahirapan ang mag travel ngayon I think next week or in the next coming months I will start visiting different succulent gardens or farms sa my Atok or Bugias area so that's something na abangan natin thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel you may also visit our Facebook page, A Desert Succulent page.